So tell me a little bit about uh, the River Town because the River Town has been so gracious to allow Go for Games to yeah. host some events there, um, and they've been so gracious to allow food vendors, you know, for for restaurants and chefs that have not been able to work well in COVID yeah. to be able to earn a living at at, uh, at a venue. Um, tell well, us a little bit about the theater. My partner at the theater, Kelly. Our big thing when we took that um, contract over was we wanted to create that sense of community in the Rivertown neighborhood because it's a very small neighborhood and one of our dreams was okay we want to work with the restaurants we want to work with the bar that was there there's a reception hall like we feel like we should all kind of be in it together mm -hmm. like a Rivertown family and it's been nice to be able to bring other businesses in like this and you know the caterers that we've had it's been really great to open up our space because we have a really nice space and it's really big just to to other types of things that pre-COVID, it maybe would not have occurred to us to do something like mm -hmm. that, you know? And everybody's been wonderful and, you know, really gracious. And we did that uh, magic tournament. It was a lot of fun. Oh, and yeah. I think it really, both of us for, you know, for this place, but also our separate businesses, I think it really encouraged us to keep thinking outside the box and think what else we could do. Oh, no, yeah. I, I agree. Because like the, the thing that, that I really, really enjoyed about that whole situation was it was multiple businesses that, yeah. that did not would not normally work together, found a way to work together and provide income for all of us in a safe manner. Can you yeah. tell me a little bit about um, the safety features that are at the Rivertown? Because that is something that's yeah. very important, especially for what we are trying to do there. So my business partner, uh, Kelly, she owns uh, and operates the Encore Studio in River Ridge. Mm -hmm. It's a performing arts studio. And that was gonna open before um, the theater was gonna open. So she went to lots of seminars with other, you know, dance school professionals to talk about what is a safe way to do this. Like, what do you really need to do? And she invested in all this equipment and the electrostatic sprayer and all those things. So when it came time for us to be able to open the theater back up for business, she had already had the foundation of what was required. Mm -hmm. And Kelly's one of those people that's like, she goes above and beyond. Like, okay, if we have to do five things, she's gonna do 11 things just to make sure we're covered. I like you know? this woman. And so <laughs> when we met with the city of Kenner, because there were so many, you know, a theater keeps falling in the cracks of what's allowed to happen. So we met with Kenner, like here are all our safety precautions. You know, we have the electrostatic sprayer, we have uh, hand sanitizing stations, we have um, mandatory social distancing, we have reserved seats. Mm -hmm. So we can keep you six feet apart. Mm -hmm. So that, you know, we have the AC, um, HVAC systems that cycle the air, like way more yeah, like than necessary. Nine times every hour, the entire yeah. building's contents nine yeah. times an hour That's and you know there's there's rules about okay if there's a performer they have to be 14 feet from the first audience member so mm -hmm. we've we have so many lists of we have the movie theater list the uh there's a recital hall list there's all these different lists of um businesses that mm -hmm. you follow this you follow this well, we follow all of them that's fantastic. So if there's three different sets of rules we're following all three sets of rules mm -hmm. just to make sure that we're covered because for us like Safety is the most important thing. And if we don't want anyone coming to our space with any fear of being safe. And the entire list of procedures is on our website. You can look at them all, but you know, the, the air filters are you know up to code and we just want to make sure that we did everything possible so that we don't have any problems. Awesome. Yeah. And then definitely please check out the website address here with the magic of, of, of video <laughs> here. This is where the website for the Rivertown County Theaters uh, will be.